a farewell to 3G. The top wireless networks planning to retire 3G service next year. Sophia Lesios joins us live to explain what this means and what devices will be affected. Hey, Sophia. Hey, Scott and Tracy. Yes, 3G had a beautiful reign with phones that were mainly used for texting, pictures, and phone calls. But almost 20 years later, it's finally coming to an end. The end of an era has begun. A technology era, that is. Think back to almost 20 years ago when BlackBerry and Nokia phones were the talk of the town. According to technology advances, now that's old news. 3G first released in 2002, it's now about to be permanently shut down as 5G starts to take over. So what does this mean for you? Well, AT&T says 3G service will shut down February 2022. Verizon says their 3G network will be gone by the end of next year. T-Mobile says they will retire all of its 3G networks, including its merger with Sprint in 2022. So yes, Phones, tablets, security systems, and most technology that use 3G, mostly between 2002 and 2009, will no longer be supported. This is a huge phase out of older technology, allowing for the expansion of newer technology. The good thing about it is, most people have phones, tablets, security systems that are newer than 2009. However, most phones affected by the shutdown are going to be iPhones before the iPhone 6 and several older Galaxy models. AT&T has a complete list of what devices won't be able to make phone calls. The shutdown also affects 4G phones that do not support the HD voice feature. When I reached out to CTIA that represents the U.S. wireless communication industry, they gave me a statement saying, and I quote, thanks to billions of dollars of investment by the wireless industry, more than 99% of Americans have access to three or more 4G LTE networks. And 5G networks are coming online for more communities across the country every day. Wireless providers have successfully transitioned customers from old to new generations before, and the same customer focus transition is happening right now. End quote. The FCC is advising people if they think they have a model that runs off of 3G to visit their wireless carrier to determine what devices are impacted and come up with a plan. It could be as simple as a software update. One other thing to think about, once 3G is expired, if you have an older phone around, they won't be able to dial 911. Since 5G is sweeping across newer devices, that is where technology is mainly leaning towards. So it might be a good idea to consider buying a 5G device as a Christmas present. In Yakima for NBC Right Now, I'm Sophia Lesios. Thank you, Sophia. Crime tracker alert.